Pile of fatigue refers to the state of being tired or exhausted as a result of long hours of work, inadequate rest, or disruptive sleep patterns. It is a serious concern in the aviation industry as it relates to cabin safety. It can impair a pilot's ability to perform their duties safely and effectively. Fatigue can lead to slower reaction times, decreased cognitive function, impaired judgment, and a higher risk of making mistakes. In the case of Ethiopian Airlines Flight 343, dual incapacitation was brought on by pilot's fatigue, leading to them entering a hold over their destination for 20 minutes while ATC frantically tried to get a hold of the ghost plane. This situation highlights the importance of adequate rest and new technology to detect fatigue on the flight deck. The aviation industry has implemented various measures to address pilot fatigue, including regulations on work hours, rest periods, mandatory crew rest facilities on long haul flights, and increased education and awareness campaigns. All of these methods are preemptive measures. None of them protect against a flight crew who still reports fatigue. Our new technology, ETFDS, eye tracking fatigue detection system is going to be very beneficial for airlines and organizations as it will enable them to optimize and enhance their operations and improve safety for flight crew and passengers alike. Knowing the level of fatigue a pilot is experiencing due to a lack of sleep, multiple flights, stress, and unhealthy lifestyle choices will make flying safer. ETFDS detects three parameters to determine your level of fatigue. These include the length of prolonged eye closure, blinks per minute, and a pilot's gaze in the cockpit. By analyzing pilot's eye movements during critical tasks, Eye tracking technology can identify situations of reduced situational awareness and a lack of concentration. Other solutions to combat fatigue, such as occasional naps, are thought to be some by some researchers and pilots to be demand too much potential risk compared to the benefits. Overall, our eye tracking fatigue detection system will provide improved situational awareness, higher attention levels, decreased fatigue, and will promote better sleep and lifestyle choices, and will mainly bring a higher level of safety to the aviation industry. Eye tracking technology can be used to detect pilot fatigue. Fatigue is a significant problem in aviation as it can lead to errors that can put the safety of the flight at risk. Eye tracking technology can detect signs of fatigue by analyzing eye movements and alert the pilot when it's time to take a break or rest. This will also improve the safety of the flight and consequently cabin safety because if fatigue is being detected with either pilot, the system will kick into action. If a pilot becomes incapacitated during a flight, eye tracking technology would detect these signs of incapacitation such as prolonged eye closure and alert the co-pilot, cabin crew, or ATC. Eye tracking technology would also be linked to the flight data recorder providing air accident investigators a better picture of the cockpit and where the pilot's attention was. This technology also forces pilots to check instruments not typical to an instrument scan where slow failures develop such as their fuel gauges and temperatures. Eye tracking technology would overall reduce pilot errors. Pilots have a lot of information to process during a flight this system will prioritize their attention on critical information such as at altitude, attitude, and airspeed, reducing the chance of missing important details that lead to errors. This system will force pilots to focus on specific things during different phases of flight that require greater attention for safety. The reduction in fatigue-related accidents due to this technology will reduce maintenance costs and improve profits. Eye tracking technology for pilots can help prevent accidents by identifying potential breaches in the safety defenses outlined in the James T. Reason model. By analyzing pilots' eyes movements during critical tasks such as landing or takeoff, this information can be used to implement proactive measures to prevent accidents, such as improving training techniques or alerts sent out to the flight crew. Eye tracking technology can also be used to identify latent failures within the aviation organization, such as inadequate inadequate training or communication breakdowns that may be contributing to active failures. This information will be key when relating it back to the James T. Reason model, as airline management will be able to focus on areas of concern and begin to put in new safety measures that will be able to catch early errors and prevent mistakes from slipping through. By providing a more comprehensive understanding of human factors in aviation safety, eye tracking technology can help prevent accidents and improve overall safety. Doing some research, we have found that there are potentially some controversies with implementing a technology like this, but we have worked to provide solutions to any pilot concerns. For years, pilots in the United States and their respective unions, with some sources going all the way back to 2000, have opposed cockpit video recording, recorders, citing privacy concerns over no significant additional benefits. And for the same privacy reasons, they may be concerned over our technology. 
To assure them that there is no reason to fear privacy concerns, our system processes the information in real time without ever requiring the need to store any video footage. Further opposition may be seen similarly to how truck drivers opposed electronic logging devices, telling them that they are mandated to take a break at a certain period, even if they feel no fatigue. Some pilots may cite that they are not fatigued when the system is telling them otherwise, and so they will feel no desire to rest, even though the safety of the flight may be slightly compromised. For this reason, the system will remain beneficial as it avoids the human factor of, I feel fine, therefore I must be fine, when we know that is not always true. Regarding fatigue, 13% of pilots report that they have experienced fatigue from their job three times a week or more, and so there might be concerns that the system continually telling both pilots they are fatigued will do more harm than solve. Instead, it will allow pilots to take controlled rest in the flight deck easier, as flight attendants will be notified of pilot fatigue, and they will be able to schedule a time where a pilot can rest while a cabin crew member stays in the flight deck as well. Eye tracker technology itself is not, it's not a brand new thing and it has been used to help improve the aviation sector in the past. Starting from as early as after the Second World War, research has been done to examine the connection between pilot performance and their eye movement in the cockpit. In 2014, a study was done in Toronto looking at the relationships between a pilot's cognitive state and their eye movements. In recent years, as automation in the cockpit has increased, causing the information load on the pilots to increase as well, the Swiss Center for Electronics and Microtechnology has been using eye tracker technology combined with AI to improve the human-to-machine interface during flight. Making use of eye tracking and hand gesture recognition in real time and optimizing the human-to-computer interaction to pursue safety and efficiency. In 2021, the product was installed and tested in a simulator with 10 pilots. As you can see, eye tracker technology is slowly becoming more integrated into the aviation sector, but we still do not see its widespread use in various planes. Our solution hopes to help ease eye tracker technology into the aviation sector by starting out with fatigue detection and then slowly progressing over time into other benefits that eye tracker technology can provide to the sector.